What's up everyone? Welcome to a day in my life. So I usually, I feel like a lot of my vlogs recently have been multiple days in one vlog today. Why was my leg? I just had my leg all the way up here. You guys are seeing, this is the reality right now. I'm trying to unpack for both myself and the two girls. So we literally yesterday got back from our trip to the beach. It was so, so fun, but it was a long road trip. We are very glad to be home. <laughs> those vlogs will come eventually on Tyler's channel. It's just gonna be one of those kind of reset days. We're unpacking, we're cleaning up. I still have work to get done today. Um, so it's gonna be a mishmash. We're gonna take you along. I also at some point need to get groceries. We have no milk, no fruit, no like the things that we like depend on on a daily basis. So I might, I was hoping to have time to actually grocery shop today. I don't know if I will. We'll see, I might just order some groceries in. Either way, I'll share that with you. We just need to get to work, I'm, I'm dilly-dallying, obviously. <laughs> I also wanted to thank today's video sponsor, which is Brooklinen. I've got some new pillows and a new comforter to share with you guys that I'm so excited to try out. We already love their sheets, um, and it's actually time to change the sheets anyway, so it kind of all works out. Uh, yeah, so that'll come here in just a little bit. So I'm currently watching Taylor Wynn as I work on unpacking. I've, this is kind of my like my random bag. You know what I mean? I love it, I got it. It's a Stony Clover bag, which is so expensive. And it came years ago from It Cosmetics. It's one of the few PR bags I've ever kept because it's so nice, but I've bought this at Disney recently. It's just a little stick-on patch of Marie. And then um, this little smiley face. It might have, I don't even remember where I got that. But anyway, and then it already had the letters, but it just makes me happy. So I wanna get some more patches to put on here. But this is my random bag where I've got like self-tanner, um, are like little first aid kit things that I always bring. This one has like band-aids and neosporin and gauze and little things like that. And then this one has more like medicines in it for anything we might need. I've got my, I never travel without my sinus rinse just in case. So yeah, I need to unpack this. And then I also have my like toiletry bag over here um, that I typically don't unpack, but this is a mess. Half of it is um, pretty much empty. I just need to toss. Um, I'm getting a new one. I've realized I love this one that I've had, but it's really cute, but I can never shut it anymore because I have too much in there. And honestly, I'm like, I'm tired of trying to stuff everything in there. I need one that has more room. So I'm gonna buy one on Amazon that I saw uh, Leanne says recommend, and she travels a lot right now um, with her daughter. So point is getting a new one because this is just not big enough. And the new one I'm getting, I can link below. It's like 20 bucks and it literally will like, it, it's just got more compartments. So anyway, that's the story on that. And then we've got this here. We've got this here. I had to pull out my like summer clothing, which I keep like under my bed, but these are all ripped because it's too, it's a long story. I have my work cut out for me because we also have all some more of the girl stuff over here that we need to do laundry, et cetera, et cetera. So you know that feeling. I just don't want to do it, you guys. <laughs> but before I do any of that, I am indeed hungry. So I'm gonna grab my water bottle. Now you're too close and my coffee cup and I'm gonna go have some lunch. It's gonna be soup today because that is, like I said, that's what we're looking at. We really don't have anything, <laughs> like we don't have bread. <laughs> um, so this is what we're gonna, this is what we're gonna do. Honestly, I've grown to really like chicken noodle soup. I feel like it's one of those things that I didn't appreciate as a kid. You know, because you have it like when you're sick and stuff. But I don't know, as an adult, I've grown to really like chicken noodle soup, especially if someone makes a really good homemade chicken noodle soup. Oof. And if you had any kind of a childhood, you did this. You get your sliced cheese and you have four crackers and you naturally fold it. And now I have four slices of cheese to go with each cracker. And that is what Genevieve calls mommy's favorite snack. <laughs> so good. So I mentioned a part of the video is sponsored by Brooklinen. That's this portion here. So if you've never heard of Brooklinen, it is a luxury bedding company. They also make bath products. Actually, my favorite robe happens to be from Brooklinen. Tyler bought it for me for my birthday because I asked for it and I absolutely love it. But anyway, we've been using their sheets and like sheet sets and their duvet covers for, I think, I want to say a year now. It is the best upgrade we made to our like bedroom. Like genuinely, I think it's the best upgrade we've ever made. They're just such high quality. They get softer with every wash. They have so many different colors and patterns you can mix and match with the pillowcases and the sheets and the duvet cover. 
We absolutely love them. Plus Brooklyn and Sheets, they're kind of one of those tried and true products. They have over 100,000 five-star reviews. So you can hear me talking about it all day and how much we love them, but a lot of other people love them as well. So one of the things we're trying out is their memory foam pillow. So these come in standard and king size. There were a couple reasons I was totally sold on these pillows. One, it's hard to find a king size good pillow. So I was excited about that. And so was Tyler because he loves a, a big, long king size pillow. But you can adjust the firmness of the pillow with a zipper, you guys. How genius is that? So you can just zip it shut. There's a zipper on both sides. so You can really adjust it. I thought that was so cool. So like depending on what you like, what you need, you can do that, but also it has, the memory foam is cooling as well, which I know Tyler is, he's such a hot sleeper, so he's gonna love that. So these memory foam pillows are actually a combination of 80% memory foam and 20% polyester fill. So it's a really nice balance of comfort and support. That's something I was definitely looking for because I feel like sometimes full memory foam pillows are too firm and then the other kinds of pillows are too soft. So this, again, kind of the Goldilocks effect with this one too. Plus they are 100% vegan and allergy friendly. Their memory foam pillows from Brooklyn and are actually made by Marlo. So it's a really, really nice, high quality pillow. Very excited to sleep on these tonight. I will pop in at the end of this little section, a video tomorrow morning, letting you know how they felt to sleep on them. So the other thing we're trying out is their all season down comforter. So they have three different levels of warmth, if you will, for their comforters. They have the lightweight, they have all season and then ultra warm. All season is kind of the Goldilocks of it all. It's ideal for most sleepers for most months. So that's why we went with it. But I love that it is super, super soft. I'm excited to sleep with this tonight, but not only that, it has loops on all four corners. So if you wanna put your duvet cover over it, you can. That's certainly how we're gonna use it, just cause it's easier to clean the duvet cover than it is to clean an entire comforter every single time that the dog jumps on it, the kid spits up on it, you know, whatever it might be. But these are hypoallergenic as well. So they just feel so much nicer. <laughs> than like anything we've ever owned. It's just, it's so, so beautiful. So I'm excited to get a good night's sleep with these and let you know in the morning how we slept with them. Okay, literally woke up a few minutes ago. The, listen, the pillows were really great. Slept really well. I definitely like it zipped to the like higher firmness level, but the blanket, this comforter was the perfect weight. And I don't think I'd realized I would typically wake up feeling pretty hot and i just assumed it was the temperature in the room i think the comforter we had was too hot this one is so perfect it's that perfect level i slept all night no interruptions did not wake up so i oh my gosh i just i love it so much so again we love our brooklinen bedding um, we recommend it to people when they ask in our personal life what we would recommend this this is what we tell them because i just feel like they're not only super comfortable but they're really well made they're high quality and you just feel like such such an adult <laughs> having really nice bedding. So Brooklyn and is currently having their sleep week now through March 20th. So if you shop through my link right at the top of the description box, you can get 20% off of Brooklyn and items, whether it's bedding items you wanna stock up on, maybe new bath items like new towels. So it's definitely a good time to take advantage of the sale if you've been thinking about it. Maybe you've heard me talk about Brooklyn in, in a past video or someone else, and it's always been on your mind and you know you need new bedding. 20% off is a really nice chunk off, so it'd be a good time to shop the sale. Thank you again to Brooklyn in for sponsoring this portion of the video. Side note, this steamer is still the best one I've ever used. It's the Conair like turbo steam, but it has this like, this like area you can basically iron with it too. So I'll just like this shirt I'm wearing right now, this one here, this was all like wrinkly and weird. It took me maybe 10, I plugged this in, it took 10 seconds to heat up and I'm not excited, it's so fast. And it instantly whew, got rid of it with the steam. And I just, you guys, I've never tried anything that's actually so good. I never iron, and so if it's a shirt that gets wrinkly, I end up not wearing it, but now that I have this, I'm like, oh my gosh, so much of my wardrobe I can wear again because I'm lazy and this is so fast. So I wanted to mention it because I got a lot of questions asking if I still recommend it because I bought it at Costco a while ago. 100%, you can get it on Amazon, I think for around the same price I paid at Costco, so I'll link it below. This is a 10 out of 10, like if this broke, I would buy the exact same one again. I never need to look for a steamer 
ever again. And I don't even need an iron. It's amazing. All right, I'm going to do what I've, what I've been avoiding. So I've got my suitcase. We had like an overnight suitcase that we were using because we were stopping halfway through the drive because it was like a 11, 12 hour drive. Anyway, point is what I usually do when I'm unpacking is grab our hampers for our lights and darks. And so as I'm unpacking and come across dirty clothes, they can go right in it. There's a washer and dryer in the unit we were in. So in theory, a lot of these are clean, but you know how like sometimes they just smell weird after, <laughs> after being in your suitcase for a day or two. So I'm hoping a good amount of these are clean so I don't have to do, we already have some laundry to do. And I don't even think, Tyler, have you unpacked yet? No. Yeah, so we're gonna have a lot of laundry like thrown in there. So we'll just see. I always, best laid plans. I'm like, I'm not even gonna have to do any laundry when we get home because it's all clean, but that is never how it goes. <laughs> but because we had an overnight suitcase, we each put a pair of pajamas in there. We each put our outfit for the next day in there for the overnight hotel stay. So I also have that suitcase to unpack. So here we go. <laughs> oh, and we ended up buying the off brand of my like favorite Aveeno body wash while we were there. Cause I, we just need a body wash. And I was like, well, if we all need it, we'll just get a big one. This is pretty good too. This is the target brand of it. I'll link below. Um, I still think I like the Aveeno one better. It had like, this one doesn't have a fragrance, but it kind of, I don't know, it smells kind of different, but either way, it was still really good and it didn't make me itch, which that, that was the goal. We also bought a pair of slippers while we were there because the floor was all sandy and it was also like hard floor. And I, I'm weird about like walking barefoot on floors that aren't my home. <laughs> I don't know. And so it was already weird, but then add sand to the mix. And I was like, no. So I ended up going to Walmart and buying these, but these need to be cleaned because they were on that nasty floor. But those might be my new like travel slippers. Another fun thing we did while we were there is go to the Disney outlet. And I found this is actually wet because it was underneath something that was wet. So I'm like, it's gotta be washed. But, well, I guess either way. <laughs> Point is this little orange bird shirt. It's like a Disney World thing. And uh, it was, how much was it? $20, which Disney shirts, it doesn't say the original price on here, but Disney shirts are so expensive. It was probably like 45, 50, maybe even 60 because it was part of the vault collection. Anyway, I kind of sized up a bit to a large because I couldn't really tell. Doesn't that look small? So. We'll see, I haven't even tried it on, but we were in a rush. Long story short, very excited about this little find at the Disney outlet. So the suitcase we all use now is the base suitcase. It is the best we've tried. Um, it, just because it was clearly well thought out. We tried Away, we've tried Cowpack, we've tried Rimoa. So it's a lot of like the big brands. Delcy we've tried. This is our favorite, so now we each have one, because, and then the girls share one, because I love that they have these two separate compartments, but then this whole area just zips shut. So I like to use this area for things that are like kind of more loose that would get discombobulated. They're kind of held in by the zippered side. And then you have this where it's got the straps, but it also has this extra bit if you want to use it. A lot of times I don't use it, but where you can zip in, and put something like flat in this area if you wanted, but then it kind of snaps on and off there. But then there's also this extra pocket if you wanted to put something else in there. And then of course having all this. So we love it. It also expands. That was huge. I had my away suitcase for a long time, but it didn't work for us because anytime we'd have a little bit extra stuff, we couldn't expand it to make room. And so it was just too rigid. But not only that, but it, of course, all of them have pretty darn good wheels. It seems to be really sturdy. I haven't even taken off this. This one was a new one because again, we just bought more. It also has this thing where you can hang a bag on it here. And then you just reattach this. I always forget how to do it. Basically you'd hang a bag on here and then just hook it back to here and it holds it really tight. So like a lot of times we'll take our diaper bag and hang it on here while we're pushing it all around. And then it also has on the side, if you hold it sideways, it has a weight indicator. So if it's over 50 pounds, it turns red. That alone is huge. So we just love it. The handles are sturdier. There's like a foam. So I don't think I have any sort of referral link or anything for this. I mean, maybe, but I, if it's like sold on another retailer, but my point is I get no kickback from this. I paid my own money for them. I love these suitcases so much. So wanted to share because I do get a lot of questions about what I would recommend and this is what I recommend. And I know that Taylor Wynn also recommends this brand and she is the one 
she might have been the reason I tried this in the first place, but she travels so much and she's tried a lot of other brands too. And she also recommends. So you got two people that like to travel that would recommend this bad boy. But again, it's an investment. You buy it once and hopefully you just have it for life. That's all about this suitcase. Having a little more coffee and I'm gonna do online grocery delivery because I don't know. I actually really weirdly enjoy going to the grocery store. It's something that is like, I don't know, anyone else like going to the grocery store, but it is beautiful outside. I would love to go on like either a long walk or a run or something. Actually, I might try to go on a run just because hopefully when the girls are back, we could do like a walk as a family because it is, it's just such a pretty day. My <laughs> best friend just uh, snapped to me and was saying something like, you know, accounting can wait because the universe just requires that I go outside and enjoy the weather. I'm like, yes, that's how I'm feeling too. So instead of going to the grocery store, I'm gonna to try to do this quickly. I feel like sometimes when I'm doing, I'm doing Instacart is usually who I use. Uh, I feel like half of the time they just don't, well, you, a lot of times they're just out of stock of something I'm wanting, which that just is what it is. But then you have to be like with your phone to be able to respond like, okay, do they have anything else? Okay. And so I'm hoping that this time goes well. And I also need to like look at my actual grocery list to see we're trying to, since we just got back from a vacation, I feel like part of our resetting is making some healthy meals to just kickstart that. You know what I mean? Just because when you're out going out to eat a lot, there's a lot of fried food involved. And even when you're trying to be healthier, it's just hard when you're doing fast food to find like stuff that feels more whole, that makes your body feel good. <laughs> so um, I do think we did a better job on this trip though. We did get groceries at the Airbnb. And so I feel like we were able to keep eating things we normally would eat, like fruit and things like that. So that was good, but either way, you know, I just feel we are craving some home-cooked meals. So I know one of the meals I wanna make is just something we do pretty much weekly, which is just like chicken breast, a veggie, and like sweet potatoes or something like that. So we'll probably do that. Sweet potatoes actually sound good, and Felicity, oh my gosh, that child loves sweet potatoes. So maybe broccoli, we haven't had that in a while. And then another thing we like to make when we're trying to eat kind of healthier is um, to kind of on the stove cook up some chickpeas and then fry up some eggs and put some like Rotel tomatoes in the chickpea mixture, put the uh, runny eggs on top. <clears throat> that is really good and um, pretty darn healthy too. So I wanna make sure I've got that. Okay, so the chicken meal, the chickpea meal. Oh, just get some salad to make um, salad with like some chicken on top for a meal, like make it a big salad. So I need to make sure we have chicken. I need cherry tomatoes for that. Um, of course, salad. And then the other things we need like croutons or cheese, whatever we've got. And I'm pretty sure we have plenty of salad dressing. I feel like those are three good meals that are kind of our go-tos that are healthier. Um, that you don't have to think, it doesn't take a lot of time just to kickstart. So the other thing I know I wanna make at least a couple times this week is our green smoothies because we've gotten out of the habit and we always feel really good when we have some of those throughout the week and it's just an easy way to throw in greens because um you know i like salad as much as the next guy but you know i don't want to eat it every day i'm always so envious of people that do eat salad like every day for lunch i'm like that's incredible i <laughs> i wish <laughs> like i just i don't know i can't force myself to do it every day so i'm gonna try to knock that out i think it'll be able to be here yeah Delivery by 1.55 p.m. It is 1.31 p.m. I don't think so, buddy. You don't know how much I'm about to order. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so bananas and fruit are high on the list. Milk and bread. I think we have lunch meat and cheese. Anyway, I'll get this done, I'll be back, but I'm hoping, like I said, to even do like a two mile run would be so amazing because I just want to get outside and enjoy this weather. And I also got to keep the laundry going and I feel like my head is in a million places. <laughs> just one of those days, you guys. Such a weird angle. I'm gonna squeeze in a run. Like I said, I promised myself that if I order the groceries, which side note, I we only ended up ordering, I'll show you here in a bit, like what groceries I ordered. Um, it'll be here very soon. And I take back what I said because I only ended up ordering like 20 something, 22 groceries, I don't know. The shopper literally, like it was like, she started shopping and within, I swear to you, eight minutes she was done. And I'm like, how? That was like all over the store. I know what that store looks like. So that was impressive. So those will be here soon. So anyway, I freed up time to go on my little 20 minute run or 30 minute run. Um, so I'm gonna do that and enjoy it. And I'm so excited because I know how I feel after I do this. So this is your your little um, sign from the universe. If you have been feeling kind of bleh, go out, go on a walk, go on a jog, go do something that you know will feel good. Go do it because you will be so glad that you did. So that's what I'm gonna do.
bye. <laughs> okay, it was hotter out there than I thought, which was amazing. And I ended up going a little over three just because of the route I took. I kind of was forced to, which is fine. That felt so great. So as promised, a grocery haul. So um, I've got a lot of fruit because again, we were totally out of everything and we kill fruit in this household, which is great. I honestly, this is making my mouth water right now just <laughs> looking at some of this fruit. So we are definitely a household that loves berries. I feel like there are like two kinds of households, those that love berries and always have them on hand and those that don't. Um, we are definitely a berry household, but we've got some apples and some cherry tomatoes. These cherub ones, if you've never tried them, are so sweet. They're really good. Anyway, got some bread. Pinocchio, no, no. They're just, oh boy. This is what happens when you have a beagle. Pinocchio, what are you doing? Always sniffing around for food, huh? It's not dinner time yet. Hmm? It's okay. What will you say, mama? Got some carrots to dip in like hummus. That's pretty much the only way I will eat raw carrots. I love ranch, but I don't like dipping them in ranch. It's just, I don't know, it's not right to me. Um, got Brussels sprouts for one of the meals we're gonna make and the sweet potatoes. Um, these are just awesome for Genevieve's lunches, um, just to throw in and she loves Cheez-Its, who doesn't? I also love Cheez-Its and I will also help her eat these. <laughs> Bananas, which I was really hoping for some yellow ones, but here we are. Um, honestly, because I was craving a banana and I know Tyler was too, I'm like, dang it. But either way, we've got bananas. We got a big old thing of salad since we're gonna do a dinner of salad one night and then wanting to be better about doing like a little side salad with like another dinner or two because it's an easy way again to get more greens in our diet. Always the goal. Oh, some yogurt. I We actually really like the Noosa yogurt. Like not the big ones, but the smaller ones they sell, but that they weren't on the site and I know Meyer sells them, maybe they were sold out, but anyway, so we got this kind and puff pastry sheets. They were in stock, so I added them to the uh, to the cart, so I'm gonna put those in the freezer. We just like having these on hand for the puff pastry pizza we make, but also just there's so many different things I feel like we always need this for, and every time I need it, it is always sold out. So, uh, got some milk. I wanted to get little mini nons. I get they must've been out of stock. Genevieve loves non. <laughs> dipped in hummus so uh got really that was for her but we all like it too got some cheese sticks some little hummuses again i think genevieve will like having those in her lunch little yogurts i like these ones they're pricey though but i like that it has veggie in it as well um not just the fruit cottage cheese this is a staple i don't think a week ever goes by that we don't eat cottage cheese and we it just always has to be in our fridge <laughs> I got some chicken, which I need to put away like right away. And then these little snacking cheeses, one of my favorite snacks, I haven't had it in a while, is the little mozzarella cheese balls with the cherry tomatoes, those two together. Oh my gosh, 10 out of 10. And then this goes in the chickpea dish where we just do the chickpeas and this, some eggs on top, it's really good. And I think that's everything, not too bad. And the nice thing about this is everything was a little over a hundred dollars and if I had gone into store, I would have easily spent a lot more than that. Cause you know, I mean, you know. So that is the one nice thing about grocery delivery is that you've picked what you're getting and that's what you're getting. So you're not gonna be impulse buying as much, even though at the end of like the checkout screen, they're like, are you sure you don't wanna add this? You've ordered this in the past, do you need it? Like, <laughs> I always end up adding a few things, but anyway. Um, so I'm gonna get these put away. I still need to unpack for the girls, so. Um, that really shouldn't be too hard because it's mostly just getting their clothes um, out of the suitcase and the rest. A lot of things we keep because we travel a lot. They're just travel specific things. So we have like a little bin for that and they just kind of live in there. So I'm hoping it goes quickly, we'll see. And we also need to figure out uh, who's making dinner tonight, Tyler or me. I'm really hoping Tyler feels like cooking dinner because I'm really not in the mood. But I also, I mean, whatever we do, it's gonna be easy. So maybe we'll tag team it, we'll see. We just got some 11 month photos and now you're sitting still <laughs> I was trying so hard to get her to not be blurry and she said well now I'm sitting still mama oh my goodness they're playing a game go get her this is one of the first times I've seen them be able to play together like they were giggling <laughs> there she goes go get her all right we're gonna go on a walk <laughs> Woohoo! Are you ready? All right, we've got peas and blackberries over here. We're gonna make some dinner for the bigger people in the house. Right, Pinocchio? Yeah. Uh, I think I convinced Tyler to make the dinner. Also, we get to see a neighbor of ours and they just had a baby. So that was exciting. I'm dying to see this baby. 
dying to, I was like, I want to hold the baby. I'm <laughs> being that weird neighbor. Anyway, uh, but we did want to um, get some stuff together for them and drop it off at their doorstep here in the next week. So it was a good reminder that I need to add that to my to-do list. Yeah, it's always exciting seeing people you know become parents, even if you don't know them super well, because I don't know. I can't explain it. It's just it's just exciting. And I we all know like what that first few weeks is like and how hard it is. So there's that piece of it too, but very exciting babies. All right, we've gotten, we, well, we can fast forward a few hours. I uh, just laid Felicity down for the night. Um, Tyler just decided to make dinner. It's like, sweet. So he's making uh, dinner for the rest of us right now. We still have some unpacking. That's Tyler's suitcase. Um, but we did get laundry, laundry pop in. I really don't know what to do. So these I mentioned earlier are my like under the bed storage things. When we upgraded to a king bed, which another upgrade that was amazing, um, we got obviously a new bed frame and this fit perfectly under our old bed, but this one, it's like half an inch, maybe even an inch really, but like half an inch too tall, these are. And so they're all ripped up from trying to get them under the bed and ripping them out. and. So what I might do is like measure and get ones. I'm like, do they sell ones that are not as deep? Cause I don't feel like these are that deep, but I might look into that because these are, like I said, the zipper, it's not even, you can't even zip it cause it's all ripped because of, cause I'm a monster. I just put, shove things under and shove them back out. But I really do kind of depend on this um, under the bed storage for my off season clothes. So that way my closet's not just stuffed to the brim. So anyway, that I need to look up. Maybe I'll measure it right now. Cause if I don't do it now, I won't ever do it. Okay, I measured five inches. So the ones I currently have are six inches and it that that lines up perfectly. So five inches would be, would we'd still have a little bit of wiggle room. So I'm gonna look on Amazon, see what I can find. I might even look on my old orders because I feel like the like width and everything of both of them worked really well and they fit under the bed well. But again, obviously the height was the issue, but I wanna, without having to go measure those, I'm just gonna look and see if I have them on my under bed storage in my orders on Amazon. Aha, looks like they were 34 inches long. Um, actually, see, I don't hate these. Do they have different sizes? It's really the low profile storage. Now we're talking. So it says these are four and a half inches tall, so it fits beds five inches off the floor and higher. And it looks like it's about the same, like, size so that might be the move and for two of them it's thirty dollars so fifteen dollars each it's not terrible i'm gonna add that to cart but let me y'all there are so many different kinds i'm wondering if there are any that are even these look like they're so sturdy anyway i'll let you know i'll link below what i end up getting i know this is the riveting content you guys signed up for so this by the way is the uh hanging toiletry holder that i was talking about earlier that i want to try um, there's this one and then there's um, one that's awfully similar. It's a little bit more expensive. This I think is the one that Leanne says talks about. But this one has like this extra thing where you could like get stuff out from the bottom. And I actually don't think I would like that, which is why I was kind of eyeing this other one I showed you originally. Do you see what I mean? It's just a little bit different there. So we'll see. Both of them have insanely good ratings. So I might just buy this one, see how I like it. And of course I can always return it. And then I did find those low profile ones this is what they look like. So it's the exact same ones I bought back in June, 2021, but these are the low profile ones. So they're like an inch shorter. You know, I was kind of looking for ones that are almost hard sided. So I might look at like plastic ones, you know, like Sterilite, but those might be too tall, but I like the idea of those cause they wouldn't rip like these do eventually. Well, I mean, they wouldn't have ripped if I hadn't been yanking them, but you get the idea. So this is a six pack of them, which is why it's $72. But this one is kind of what I had in mind, but it's like over six inches once you put the uh, lid on it. So I'm like, okay, probably not. Um, all right, Tyler. Chef Tyler, what'd you make? <laughs> Quick, easy, literally chicken breast and then sweet potatoes and one Brussels of my sprouts. favorites. This is a quick way to make the Brussels sprouts. I have a much, much better way that I prefer, but it just takes a little while longer. Yeah. Um, so hopefully they don't stink. Well, the, no, well, <laughs> they literally stink in a good way. They're covered in balsamic vinegar, which is a big piece of the magic. So good. You do work magic with Brussels sprouts, I have to say. I like to think so. You did. I don't think I used to like them. No one likes Brussels sprouts until they try my Brussels sprouts. Like wow, sprouts. no one, huh? Yeah. No one likes <laughs> them. They are so good though. I just love balsamic vinegar, honestly. So we got a couple of new house decor pieces. Um, gosh, Tyler, I still have not finished 
the uh, basement cabinets. Oh, I Oh my gosh, anyway, <laughs> another project. While I was getting decor for that, I got some of these pieces. So these, I'm pretty sure I got it. Um, I haven't even taken the tags off. Uh, home goods, which are just so cute. And then this, I got definitely this at Target. I think this at Target as well. So I might be able to link that. It's just like separate pieces, you know? And then this, I got on Wayfair and I loved how wide it was. We used to have a painting here. And I don't know, I just really like how simple this looks. Again, I still have the tag on this. I might put like one of those candles that just kind of come on automatically. You know what I mean? They're on a timer and they're like a fake little flickering candle. I think that might look nice, like especially in the evening. We spend a lot of evenings in here. So yeah, I'm happy with how kind of cleaned up this looks. I feel like it's kind of what I've been wanting to do, <laughs> but I just hadn't, I don't know, I hadn't actually pulled off, you know? Okay, also our favorite like healthy dessert is frozen tiny blueberries. We get a big old bag at Costco and then whipped cream on top. Mm, weirdly good. Tyler was doing this for like weeks and I was like, it just doesn't sound good. Like I feel like it's not gonna satisfy my sweet tooth, but once you add some whipped cream to it, 10 out of 10. <sighs> okay, it is the end of the night. It's like nine. 27, I think I might get a bubble bath tonight because that just sounds nice. Um, Tyler, are you gonna finish unpacking? Yeah. So that'll be good. I have some laundry I could fold and put away, but I think that might be tomorrow's problem. The other thing we were talking about, like TV wise, what we still need to watch, we need to watch season two of White Lotus, which a lot of you guys said you liked season two better than season one. And Girls 5 Eva, okay. That show, is the whole new season is out or are they? Oh yeah, it's been out for a while. Oh my gosh, okay. So we love Sarah Bareilles. She's an amazing singer, songwriter. She plays piano, the, the whole nine yards. <laughs> the whole nine yards. Anyway, um, we absolutely love her. And she, it's a show about a girls group, like let's say a la Spice Girls, same, same, but different. And uh, they were like super famous. And now it's like them 10 years or 15 years after fame. And they're like kind of getting back together. And it's just so funny. That show is so funny, but there's also like they sing in it and it's just a fun show. So if you need like a happy 30 minute or well, 22 minute episode type show, it's on Peacock, right? Yeah. Girls 5 Eva. That's one we need to pick back up. But anyway, enough about that. But I'm gonna let you guys go here because I am excited to just go relax for a little bit watch some YouTube videos, see which of my faves have uploaded. I'm always excited about that. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed. Again, thank you to Brooke Lennon for sponsoring a portion of this video. Again, if you wanna shop their Sleep Week sale, you can get 20% off of Brooke Lennon items by using my link right at the top of the description box. Thank you again to Brooke Lennon. Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.